Here I am in my garage. <laughs> you know what my secret just bought this new Lamborghini here. Oh wait, I just made this new toilet here. You know what my secret is? Haha, <laughs> another day. I'm drilling the hole for the drain for the shower now. This is uh I drill here to find find the center and then I'm going underneath with my hole saw <sighs> to actually find that hole. I found a hole which thank god I didn't drill because it was the wrong hole. So that's <laughs> so this is not the hole. Let me take this off. Okay. Where's the hole? Maybe this one? Let's see. Oh, that might be it. Smash the cup. Alright. And yes, that's it. Alright, so I'm gonna drill that. I'm making the hole a bit bigger because I don't want water to drip on the plywood and wreck it. Water has this weird ass priority that if it's a plane it kind of sticks to it and then it drips. Uh, I'm using a hole so bigger, slightly bigger than this. Hopefully there will be no water dripping on the plywood because this is going to be on the shower, gasket and that's on top, you know? Action! <laughs> so, here's the hole done. This is connected, I've connected this. But there's more because I need to split this. Uh, because there's another one coming from the sink. So somewhere... Here I'll have another hole, there's another one coming and I have a Y splitter that I don't know yet how to connect. It looks really nice, like that. I made a hole here for this hose to go in. This and two other hoses for water to go in there. I'll have to cut these. One of them just tried to kill me. Alright, so this hole is done. I need to make the hole in the actual caravan van. I think this is a bit too big. So I might use the Christmas tree and maybe make three holes instead of one. So the hoses can fit properly. Yeah, I'll do that. So it's winter and it's nighttime, fucking 5 p.m. Shoot me now. But in spite of all this, I managed to run the drain to the sink, run the cold water feed, the hot water feed, and to sort my issue here, which was the switch turning on the pump I just swapped these around so now hot and cold because a lot of times when you take a shower you want hot water right you don't want you know what I mean so if you want to add cold water that's fine you can all right now Pani bought a way cooler this device toothbrush holder so I'm gonna have to replace this one, which is yellow anyway. And we have this uh, um, toilet paper paper holder. So I'm gonna stick to this wall somewhere I don't know where. It's getting there. I'm super happy, man. Uh, yes. I still didn't cut the door, the access door for the toilet. Should do that tomorrow. 
we went today to get a baby bed, which is a really cool baby bed. So uh, the day passed because it's winter and it's dark at 5 p.m. So there's been little progress done. I've decided to because it's hard to find the key for that. Thanks, guy that sold it to me. Uh, like the key barrel. I've decided to have it on the inside, which is easier for everybody, because this way I can just lock the caravan and everything's locked. I don't need an extra key for anything else. So that's that's done. The toilet is bolted now. Um, I've cut a hole in this wall which was a bit too big, but luckily I have this frame down. So that should be okay. I've measured this and went from it went little by little to actually achieve the shape. And I just need to cut this line, then stick it, cut back the door and cut the toilet access door glue it staple it so I've cut that the glue is there the scraper is there let's see if this thingy fits which it should do Oh, it's sweet. Okay, glue and put it in. So we have a wall finally here. I put this door in. It's really nice. It opens and closes really bang. Uh, now I need to power this light uh, so I can see where I'm cutting. But for that, I need to terminate this wire here. It's five o'clock winter and it's night again. Fucking shit. Joe Biden won the US election. Well done Joe Biden. The thing is they're both pricks so at least you change the prick from time to time. This is my mentality. Behold the door cut. Still need to make the door somehow. But the toilet is is like 80-90% done. I need to build that thing there and put the silicone in. Build this thing also. But this stuff is details. Mostly it's done the toilet. So there's been future work done. So I've prepared the kitchen area right here. I've put some aluminum tape around this wheel arch. Aluminum tape is really nice with the insulating and stuff, but it's not puncture resistant, so I left a gap here, so uh, I've put some gaffer tape on top, and gaffer tape is pretty resistant and insulating also, so that should be alright. I did this because uh, I don't have that spray, the foam spray yet, and I don't want to wait, so fuck it. It is how it is. It is what it is. So I'll bring the kitchen unit if it fits now because I have the shower and it might not fit anymore. 
I might have to get creative. Let's see if I'm lucky or not. Yeah, it fits normally, I think. Man, if I would measure it, it wouldn't be that this perfect. Dun, 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 dun. The kitchen unit. It's not. It's not fastened yet, but it will be. I need to do one thing before I start fitting it. I need to figure out the tap situation here because this didn't have a tap. Maybe I can put them here. Up, back, back. I did find on eBay a couple of whale taps like these. The same ones with a probably with a switch on. So if I still find them, it will be nice because then they fit. So I've decided here not to leave the bare wood. I had these friend of mine called Wayne gave them to me. They're really cool, they're like vinyl tiles. Thick ones also. Quite nice. They stick with the same glue, guess what? Surprise, surprise. And what I'm doing now is I've cut this thing here. Ah, oh, this is patched. I patched it yesterday. So it's all nice and straight. Put some screws here because it, it was wobbly if you remember. It still is wobbly, but I don't care here because the couch and the, the bed's gonna come in. Uh, what I wanted is this to be straight, and it is. Okay, there's this hole here it's for the vent. I've cleaned this vent. Alright, so I'm gonna cut this hole here. I marked the center already, this one here. So I'll cut the hole and then start sticking. Here's the first three pieces. I used the leftover of this to make this. Cut out here. It's nice, man. So there's been some Sunday work done. What? I've laid these vinyl floor tiles. I'm super proud of the holes for the hoses. Like, really proud of that. That they actually match. There's a little gap here, but psh, this is only if, so the floor looks nice under the kitchen area. Technically, if there's a leak, this kind of should let the leak go out, you know, through this vent and maybe through these holes. Uh, yeah, now I think I have to do this one. I need to cut this one here to align it and then put a little piece there. Then I can put the kitchen unit on and then uh, yeah bolt it on and then cut this shelf I mean take it off and ideally move it down here because so down here because the fridge is going there it's beginning to look like a caravan which makes me smile after finishing this I'll do the bed and if I do the bed, then all the batteries and wires and stuff can be connected because my power box is going to be under this couch here. Now I was thinking in terms of weight. Um, this is a little kitchen unit. This is a big shower box. This is heavier than that. The bed will be uniformly heavy here and there right but if I put the battery there then that's gonna skew the weight to this side but I've just solved this issue because if the battery is there there's gonna be a storage box down there that we can put heavy shit and then we can put some heavy shit in this area so that should be fine yeah cool now here's a method for you if you're too lazy or you're in a rush for any reason 
and you gotta do some precision holes. I found that this method works. Kind of anchor yourself into something solid, put something on top of the hole, and then put the tile in, and that something would be still there, and drill the hole. I did that with this, and this, and this hole. There's my beautiful tiling complete. Now, let's take the kitchen and put it in place. Take this away for now. Okay. okay. Come on, kitchen. Okay. I did lose, and I'm so annoyed about this, I did lose this gasket here. So annoyed. It's looking pretty nice and clean now. Ding. I like it. Yeah, that's, that's beautiful. Alright, let's put the screws in. Fix this kitchen unit. And then put the hoses in, do the shelf thing, put the fridge in, see how this goes. I'll probably have to, technically if I'm running this fridge on 12 volts or 240, I don't have to have an exhaust here. I don't have to drill a hole in the wall where the exhaust should be. Um, I'm still thinking about that. It might be useful in the future to have a fridge on gas, although environmental things I kind of don't like burning stuff if I don't have to. Way better than just the wood, and if there's any leak, it's gonna be on the tiles, so that's great. Sweet. Let's put in these holes back. Right, so what is this? Water intake. Straight into the pump. Okay. Two boiler. This is the one that's going to be split. And I'll have another pipe going to the cold water intake. Uh, I did order some water taps. I did order some water taps and they're coming tomorrow it says. This is the, to the sink and I, I was thinking to have them here because here there's a there's a spacer. I could just have the water taps here. You know, and uh, they go. It's a mixer water tap, so you go cold, warm, and then it's got a pipe that can come on top. But I want to use that one, so it looks kind of original. So that pipe will go down, hose, and the hose will be back in that, so it looks nice. So there's been some work done. I've cut this and this. So the gubbins from here. This thing is here now and these I've added I've added a piece there also this had to be modified because obviously the wheel, wheel arch is there so by putting another beam there like another support there I'm making the caravan tougher because I can just bolt this that's connected to the wall to this that's connected to the floor what you need to realize is, in a caravan, it's a box, and it's kind of wobbly in the, to start with. But as you add more accessories, you make it tougher. So anything I need to do to make this thing tougher, I'm going to do. So now I'll bolt this in. I've added this hose, which is the cold water intake for the sink. I've fitted the pump here with like a nice cable tie. 
inlet to the pump, outlet to cold water sink, cold water to the boiler. And then from the boiler, the hot water is this that goes back to the sink. This is the drain. And that should be it for now. Uh, this has two valves. So when I want to wash the dog, for instance, I can just take this off, connect this, the holes in, take it out and hose the dog. Another thing that I need to do is fix this gas line here and connect it to this. After I do that, I'll put the boiler on and test the gas hob when all this is finished. Hopefully, it's all going to be okay. I did test the fridge with gas and it's not coming on most of these have this problem I think it's this uh, valve here this gas valve uh, but in the interest of being green and all I don't really want to burn stuff too much so this is running on 240 and 12 volts so I'm just gonna make it like that I left the gas pipe in in case in the future I want to connect it but yeah maybe not now so to fasten the hoses I'm using these but I'm taking the the, um, the nails out because they're too big and I'm afraid they might go through my wall so what I'm doing instead is drilling a hole through it like that so enlarging the hole and then enlarging it even further with this Christmas tree thing because I've got these screws that I could just put in here and they're perfect length for me to just do my thing so that's what I'm doing and this is I don't really <laughs> like Obama says I don't really need a reason that's how I do it so that being said, this compartment is ready to be fridgeized. Another thing I'll do before putting the fridge in is I'll drill a couple of holes here so that cold air can go in and heat and uh, cool down this fridge. Uh, I do have these things that should be outside, but I think anything that opens up this caravan um, I don't really like it because water can go in and then shit can happen finally Whoa, the fridge the fridge it's going in it's uh, fitting here just nicely considering this wasn't a fridge option kitchen unit this is so cool it's in here hey what's up fridge what's up fridge so behold the hole that's how it is let me go clean it up a bit I think that should be enough with the down holes to cool up this fridge. I'll put this in right now, but ideally I want a mesh here so you can't see the thingy inside. So I'm running the 240 and the 12 volt wires. I found I had, I did buy some new wire for 240 but I had some old one that I'm gonna use for the 12 volt line all right I'm going to connect it up here and that is that I decided to lose this thing because if I have a, some sort of a water leak this is more of a uh, you know a problem then solution so I'm just gonna lose that connection and go 240 straight in here 12 volts straight in there 
So before doing anything with the insulation, I uh, had to do the same thing around the wheel arch again. Uh, when there's going to be a nice day, I'll probably go under the van and seal it with some Sika Flex, but now this is alright. There's been work done because I'm restless and I do work off camera. So I want to get this over with so I can finish it and have a cool caravan. So this is the bench. This is the first bench. I've uh, replaced these. There used to be some flimsy plastic ones. I've replaced them with some brass ones that are stronger. This was my first attempt in using a uh, router. And you can see as all first attempts, it didn't really work out. This is the third time I did it and that's quite cool. This one, hmm, and this is a disaster. But it's super strong. Uh, this is all made by from 2x4s fucking strong is just to prove a point two by fours there's one two three at the bottom you can see here this is just beginning I just begun to do this so I'll do it in the same manner this will be the cupboard with all my electronics solar panel batteries blah 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 off limits maybe the subwoofer maybe if it fits if not the subwoofer will go somewhere in here, in this cupboard. In terms of uh, beams across, I approach them differently. With here, I'm just gonna have one here and one here. This would give me maximum space here to put my hands in and run wires and fix stuff to the wall and blah blah blah. Um, I'm doing this because this is the electronics cupboard. In here, I hope, I hope the subwoofer is going to fit here. I didn't measure it though. Yeah. I did not measure it. Making progress. I think I have the best way to finish off this cupboard here. Because it's with batteries and electronics and stuff. I don't want them in close vicinity to wood so um, this is vinyl floor this is some vinyl mats from Poundland but they're actually fucking sick because they have double adhesive on them which is great <coughs> so they stick to walls and things so I kinda love them it's happening. I finally put this thing on as a break from the seats. So I can do everything else inside because this was the last thing that I needed to do outside besides painting it. So that's in. Ooh. I don't know why I was putting this off. I really don't know. But it's done now. So continuing the safety feature from uh, earlier. I'm adding these vinyl vinyl uh, things on this lid also just because it's on top of all the electronics and if shit goes down we're kind of sleeping on top of all these electronics so um, I'd like to have a bit of notice <laughs> before um, you know so here in order to remove this I'll make two holes or one hole in the middle and I've put one plank here and there'll be one plank here so that this this plank stays into place more progress the boiler is in I just need to extend this gas hose 
typical half a meter, not even half a meter. But this is on. I'll have to install the flu, the flu, after I put the ceiling in. I think I've put these farmland mats here also because this is going to get hot. This area, so I think this is useful to have these here. I'll put more here to complete this area. Some more work has been done. This is finished. I've put these sides on here and there. Uh, this had a lip here, so I used that and then I put ah, this is reinforcements. I need to cut the edges of those screws. This reinforcement, this the other lip there. I used this also. I put two screws in there. That's pretty solid. This is some plywood from uh, the actual caravan. Uh, I had like a big piece and I tended to use it. It used to have a double bed also down there covered with a piece of plywood so I just used that. Now I'm making the this this shelf now here. This is gonna be the shelf the shelf unit and on top Max's bed. There'll be a cupboard here because I still have one of these doors. They used to be here instead of the refrigerator. So I'm just going to use that. And in the rest, we probably make some shelves. Or at least that's the plan for now. Sweet. Now I did some cuts here so these cables go in. The rest of the cables I'll just fish them through here in front of the battery. Did some more work. Put this door in where the sub is. The sub's going to be landscape. I uh, ran out of wood, typical. Uh, there's be, there's going to be another one here and a uh, one across like that. A division in the middle and I'm thinking this all shelves or uh, um, drawers. Bam, bam, bam. I drilled holes in this thing for the... Ah, by the way, this came. And dual switch baby alright so I drilled holes for that that and the pipe the middle pipe hopefully it's all gonna go in and it did I'll put some silicon here uh, later later then this goes in here please fit Yes, it does fit. It's gonna look pretty really nice. It's gonna look really nice. Haha. <laughs> bang, bang, and the water is gonna come out of this. Sweet. It's not bad.